In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the NVIDIA SLI HB bridge with the EK water blocks. What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate that how you can uh, use the non-compliant uh, NVIDIA HB SLI bridge with the EK water blocks. As you might be already aware that officially EK does not support the NVIDIA HB SLI bridge and they don't recommend this bridge. But uh, when I bought uh, the Titan Axis, at that time the only available HB SLI bridge was uh, from NVIDIA. So I bought that one. But later on when I water cooled uh, my graphics card using EK water blocks, I found out that uh, they are not compatible. The reason of uh, non-compliance is the HB SLI bridge is uh, angular in shape and the edges touches the EK water block terminals and the bridges as you can see over here. So it is not usable. So I wanted to order some third party HB bridge but I wasn't able to find anything uh, in stock. So I went ahead and modify my existing NVIDIA SLI HP bridge. So all I did was I removed the top cover. After removing the screw, the top cover was still not uh, coming off. The reason was the LED light is uh, glued to the top cover and it was not easy to remove. You need to use uh, some force to remove the top cover. So this was the LED light. As you remove the top cover, the LED light was little bit dirty because of the glue. You can remove the glue using uh, any of your preferred method. You can use alcohol or whatever you like. But I pulled the glue using the clippers. After removing the top cover and I tried to install the PCB but even the PCB was touching the EK water block terminals and the bridges. So finally I cut the PCB along uh, with these uh, screw holes as you can see. I cut the PCB from the middle of these screw holes and uh, now it was uh, quite easy to install and it worked flawlessly. The top cover can be installed back provided if I am able to cut the corners. I don't have the necessary tool to do that so if I find some uh, good uh, grinder I might grind the edges and then I will uh, put the top cover back so that the bridge looks uh, better once again. At the moment it is uh, in pretty raw shape but it does work as you can see here. So guys this is how you can uh, make your NVIDIA SLI HP bridge to work with the EK water blocks. I hope that you have liked the video thanks for watching and if you have liked it make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. Take care see you bye.